Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? Hey, it's Charlie. And let me turn this stupid thing down. You know what I want to talk to you quickly today is, uh, you know, something... That, once again, I'm going to get accused of being a hateful and one-sided American here. And I hate that because it's totally false. Uh, but let's, let's get to here to this. Here in the last three weeks, there was a massive issues with Albania and Serbia, okay? You had this big football match with uh, the first one for years and years and years. It happened in Belgrade. They flew a drone with a greater Albanian flag. It was ripped down, created a mess. They canceled the game. All that jazz, okay? I, I, I expressed my opinions on that. I've gotten a ton of hate mail calling me fat, ugly, stupid, blinded, a spy, uh, this, 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 just because... I expressed an opinion, which I think is absolute crap. Uh, anyway, after all of this stuff, okay, the Prime Minister, what's his name? Uh, Mr. Sama, uh, what's his name? Rama Zvini, sorry, I apologize. No disrespect to Mr. Rama, the Albanian Prime Minister. Uh, he was scheduled to come here last week, I believe, and they actually had turned it down uh, because of all this uproar and in, in horrible uh, media that Serbia has been given, and Albania also, maybe in a way, uh, from Serbia's side, I'll give you that. Uh, so they, they asked to cancel it, to, to postpone it for a little bit, okay? So finally, uh, two days ago, yesterday, whenever, day before, Mr. Rama, Prime Minister Rama of Albania, he comes here. Uh, Mr. Vucic, the Serbian Prime Minister, met him. They walked through, saw the, the, the Serbian guard, and it was, looked nice till they get up to the podium. And then they're doing a little press conference. And Mr. Uh, Rama, okay, he says, Independent Kosovo is an undeniable region in European reality, and it must be respected. You know, I'll, I'll be accused here, again, of siding with the Serbs. But, uh, excuse me, I... I I got, uh, I smoked some nargila and it really upsets my stomach. Um, but anyway, <laughs> Mr. Vucic, that, that set him off. And he said, uh, I did not expect this provocation. What does Albania have to do with Kosovo? Kosovo is not part of Albania and it never will be. You know, I mean, and it just horrible exchanges after that. You know, this was the first visit from the Albanian Prime Minister here in Serbia since in, in 68 years, since the 1940s, when it was Albania was communist and Serbia was socialist, mixed, communist, whatever you call it. That was the first time the Albanian Prime Minister had been here, just trying to get people hope for maybe a lukewarm uh, relationship afterwards. Uh, we all know, uh, maybe some of you don't, but the southern portion of Serbia, Kosovo, it's a little diamond-shaped type place. And about 100 countries recognize it as being an independent country, and about close to 100 others do not. Okay, let's talk about some of the countries that do not. And I'm not taking sides here, I'm just expressing this to some people that don't know. Okay, Spain does not recognize it, Slovakia does not recognize it, Sri Lanka doesn't, Sudan doesn't, Syria doesn't, Suriname, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Tunisia, Uganda, Uruguay, Ukraine, Venezuela, Vietnam, Zambia, Zimbabwe. Uh, Singapore, Russia, Rwanda, Romania, Paraguay, Philippines, Nigeria, Nicaragua, Nambia, Morocco, Mongolia, Mexico, Brazil, Lebanon, Laos, Kenya, Kazakhstan, Jamaica, Israel, Palestine, Iraq, Iran, Indonesia, India, Guatemala, Greece, Georgia, Ethiopia, many, many countries do not. When you look at the population of these countries that do not recognize it, it far outnumbers those that do, okay? And I'm not taking sides, I'm just stating this. So it's not an, a recognized entity yet. And for him, I think, to come to this country when he knows tensions are so, 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 so high, uh, he's walking on coals, uh, to say something like that here at a press conference, I think it's absolute. That's total provocation, man. Uh, you know, and I know you're going to hate that, and you're going to disagree, but I would like one of you to please make a video in English, you Albanians, uh, to make a video in English so I can understand it, uh, to give me your thoughts. Tell me what you think and why you think that that was a right thing to do. You know, 
for the first time in 68 years to come here right after this whole problem and to say something like that, even though there's also something I didn't mention, and many Albanians said they never heard this or thought it was false. I'm just telling you, I don't read Serbian media very much. I read BBC, I read CNN, I read MSNBC, which are very one-sided toward Albania, usually. Okay, it's Western media that, that tends to favor the Albanian side. But most of those, I, I'd even read in some of those that the, Serbian, that the Albanian prime minister's brother, they thought had maybe orchestrated it. I don't know if it's true, I have no idea. I'm just telling you some things I read. But he knows all this, that this is possibilities, and he comes here and says something like that. Here in Serbia, after 68 years not being here right after that, absolutely wrong, totally wrong, in my opinion. Okay, and that's really all I have to say today. Uh, you know, and, and, and once again, I'm not a Serbian butt kisser. There's no Serbians here or here or here or here that uh, have a knife or something here. I'm not wearing a Serbian shirt today. Uh, I've got a really good friend an Albanian, let me read what he had to say, okay? Because I, he messaged me yesterday, he lives in Canada, and he asked me how I was doing, and just because he's a good, friendly guy, you know. And he said, let me read it. Well, I get so many messages on Facebook, I can't even keep up. This is absolutely insane. I've got about 60 messages in there, I haven't even read. <sighs> okay, Mr. Durasim Hoaxa. Let me compliment you, Albanians. I love your names. You got some of the coolest names I've ever seen. I have no idea how to pronounce them. Uh, and a lot of you insulted me whenever I said Salam Alaikum to Albanians, and that's an Arab thing, I know. And I realize your country is Orthodox, Catholic, and Muslim. Uh, so I, I didn't intend any disrespect, and I am aware that that's an Arab thing, but I thought maybe some of the Muslims would respect it, but obviously not. Here's what my friend said when he asked me how I was doing. I said, did you see this whole ordeal with, this, with, the, with your prime minister that came to Serbia? I said, I thought that was horrible, total provocation to be in Serbia right after this and say that. He said, I don't think he wanted to provoke anyway. He would just express his opinion. He said that he would not be surprised if Vucic would have said Kosovo is Serbia and Tirana. Just opinions. And anyway... That's what he said, and I disagree because he's a prime minister and he knows what's going on here. His job is to, you know, to try to thaw relations, to try to make things right. He can have whatever opinions he knows. Everybody knows his opinion, and everybody knows Vucic's opinion, Serbia's viewpoint. So why come here after 68 years, the first time ever, and to do that? You know, absolutely, you know, rude, disrespectful, in my opinion. Okay, and. That's just the way I see it. Anyway, that's it. Uh, you know, don't send me a bunch of hate mail for that. I, I even had some of you Albanians that were friendly wrote to me and you said, hey, don't talk about politics anymore. I don't want to talk about politics, but that's in the news and that's important, you know. And I think a lot of this is just is done intentionally uh, to set Serbia off so they can look bad, you know. Maybe, maybe I am wrong for thinking that, but I, I really do think that that's the way it is. Uh, anyway, that's it, my friends. Enough for me tonight. I'm going to get back to my freaking beans. I got this pasuli sakobositsum, beans and sausages. Uh, so fat boy's going to eat beans and sausages tonight and uh, get back to his business. That's it for now. Dovi Jinyan, please, you know, realize every country does something wrong. Today is Veterans Day in the United States, and it's also international uh, something, I forget what it is, in the rest of the world. But regardless of who you are, if any of you have had a member of your family that was killed in the war in any conflict, my deepest condolences to you, uh, and may your loved one rest in peace. Uh, I had my family in World War II, the Burton side of the family, one family uh, sent five brothers and sisters, uh, five total, one sister and four brothers to fight in World War II, and some of them did not come back. Uh, and, but I, I, I totally respect uh, even those we fought against, the Iraqis, the Afghans, uh, every other country we fought against, about every country in the world. I respect their troops. You know, we can hate military conflicts. I hate them all. I hate war. I hate all of that crap. And all of it's done by interest, in my opinion. But even those who lost someone, a lot of those troops, they don't fight because they want to, they fight because they're told to, they fight for their country and their government. A government creates these conflicts and they fight for it and they lose their lives and it affects so many families. So regardless if you're an Albanian that lost somebody in the war, one of your troops, my deepest condolences, same to the Serbs, the Croats, the Bosnians, the Afghans, everybody else. 
nothing but respect to you. And don't hate me. Leave me alone. I'm going to get to my food. I'm depressed. Don't eat Jingle.